In this video, I will show you how to rig a thrust vector control for the Millennium Falcon. I added a master bone, which can control all sub-control bones on the upper ring. When I rotate the master bone, all thrust vector controls are also rotating. The same applies for the lower master bone, which controls the lower ring. I rebuilt a simple version of a thrust vector control in a new Blender project. We have a plate which directs the exhaust jet and the swivel joint, the main piston and another swivel joint on the top of the plate. I switch to post mode and rotate the control bone around the x-axis. You see the piston is pulling the plate around the swivel joint. I use the same principle in the old excavator project. When I move this arm, you see the piston on top contracting. Same applies for the shovel and the main arm. I delete the armature and we rebuild it from scratch. I select the geometry and switch to edit mode. Select the end faces of a swivel joint, press Shift S, cursor to select it. Back in object mode, I go to add, armature and select single bone. In data properties, go to viewport display and activate in front so the geometry does not cover our bones. Switch back to edit mode of the geometry and select the swivel joint of a piston and shift S to bring the cursor to this rotation axis. Back to object mode, select the single bone, go to edit mode and select the tip of a bone. Go to the armature menu, snap, selection to cursor. I rename this bone to control. Extrude another bone from the tip of a control bone in that direction. Go to edit mode of a geometry and bring the 3D cursor to the base of a piston. Switch to edit mode of the armature and add another bone, our stretch bone. Bring the cursor to the swivel joint of the piston and snap the tip of a stretch bone to 3D cursor. Select the base of a stretch bone and extrude another bone in that direction. In data properties of the armature, we can now switch the viewport display from octahedral to stick. I rename the bones according to their positions. We switch to pose mode and when we rotate the control bone, the armature does not work as intended. So first we select the stretch bone and switch to bone constraints and add a stretch to constraint. Target is the armature and the bone is the control bone. You might see the stretch bone is stretching to the base of our control bone. So bring the head tail slider to 1. Now the stretch bone is too long. Under original length, we click on the little x. When we rotate the control bone, it looks better. Switch to object mode and select the geometry. Shift select the armature and control P, armature deform with empty groups. Blender has created four vertex groups with the name of our bones and we must assign vertices to these groups. Switch to edit mode and select the plate, the two half circles, the swivel joint and add these vertices to the control group. Lock the group and hide the selection. This prevents vertices from assignments to several groups. Select the swivel joint and the tip of a piston. 
Control and Plus to extend the selection. And the vertices to the tip group. Select the base of the piston and assign vertices to the vertex group base. Back in pose mode, we rotate the control bone and we see there is still something wrong with the rig. Switch to edit mode of the armature and select the base bone. Shift select the stretch bone and control P and choose make parent keep offset. In pose mode, we see the base rotation is correct, but it has inherited the stretching. Select the base bone and act a limit scale constraint. Activate all axes and set the minimum and maximum to 1. When I rotate the control bone now, the base is no longer stretching. We need to do the same for the tip. Go to edit mode, select the tip bone, shift select the stretch bone and control P, make parent keep offset. In post mode, add a limit scale constraint for the tip. Now everything is working as intended. Back to the Millennium Falcon. I build the same bone construct, add a single thrust vector control and copy it to all locations and assign the vertices to the vertex groups. Each control bone has a copy rotation constraint from the master bone. Target is the armature and the bone is the master bone. The mix method is add and the target is local space. Otherwise each control bone aligns with the master bone. So that's all for the thrust vector control rig and I see you in the next video.